Welcome to Sally Melody's classroom where we learn basic music. Intervals lesson 8. We are still progressing. Today we are in that category or that quality of intervals. Perfect intervals. In the previous lessons we did major and minor intervals and we know what they are. Now we are in perfect intervals. We said that major comprises of the second, the third, the sixth, and the seventh. And we said that when we reduce any major by a semitone, it becomes a minor. So perfect comprises of first, fourth, fifth, and octave. First, fourth, fifth, octave. Octave means eighth. Now, let's see down here. Or first we look at the, the formula. From C to C. The C scale is our example in most of our practical exercises. So, tone, tone, semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. Whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half. That is the formula of any major scale. Now, let's start from here. First and foremost, we said perfect intervals comprises of the first, fourth, fifth, and octave. Okay, we might ask ourselves, what is this kind of interval that we are talking about the first? This one is a uh, it is called perfect unison. Perfect unison. You are not moving from any note to any note. You just stick on that note. For example, let's see. This is C. And then you have something like this. Meaning that that is a unison. You are not either moving up or going anywhere. You are just singing. The two voices are singing this note. They are doing C. They are doing C and there is no, there is no distance between the two notes. That is what we call a perfect unison. It doesn't have any tones. It, it has zero tones because you are not counting anything. You are not, there is no distance that can be calculated. That is what we call a first. For example, let's use this melodica and sing. This is C. Both voices are singing the C. But if it was maybe a second, we could have moved from here to here. That is what we mean by perfect unison or a first. Or a first. And then from there, we go to... We go to a fourth. From C to F, it is a perfect fourth. From C to G, it is a perfect fifth. From C to the other C, I needed to differentiate this octave and this first. Here you are not going anywhere. You are, you are stuck on one note. But here, you need to move from this C to the octave one. So that it can give you a perfect octave. So, any time you are talking about a unison, a fourth, a fifth, or an octave, you describe them in terms of perfect. You say perfect intervals. Perfect intervals, you talk of perfect intervals when you are mentioning an, uh, a, a unison, a fourth, a fifth, a, and an octave. So, that, those are there. Those are the categories of a perfect interval. So, we said that a perfect unison doesn't have any tones or semitones because you are not moving anywhere. You are just there, standing there or singing that same, same note. From C to F, we have, it is a perfect fourth because if you count from C to F, 
you are going to get four notes. That is an uh, that is the interval. But now it is a perfect fourth because it has two and a half tones, and we're gonna count. So from C to F, we have one, two, one, two and a half, one, two and a half, and that is that. So from C to G is a perfect fifth. First and, and foremost is one, two, three, four, five. It is a fifth and a perfect fifth. How many tones? One, two, three and a half. It has three and a half tones. And then we have an, a perfect octave from C to the other C. We see one, two, three, four, five plus the two halves, it becomes six tones. So if you want to know whether an interval is perfect, a unison has zero tones, a fourth has two and a half, a, fi a perfect fifth has three and a half, and a perfect octave has six tones. Anything less than that is not a perfect interval. It is another type of interval. So it is good you get this. If you look at an interval and you realize that maybe if it is a, it is a fourth, and it doesn't have a total of two and a half tones or five semitones. You know, if you split them, there will be five semitones. Then you know that it is not a perfect fourth. It is another type of a fourth that has been reduced to something else, which we are going to look at in the next lessons. So in order for you to know whether it is a perfect interval of a fourth, a fifth, an octave or a unison, you must see the number of tones is the one that will determine. I said again, anything less than those tones, then it is not a perfect interval. So again, we say that unison, fourth, fifth, and octave are the ones that fall under perfect intervals. Do not get confused about the first. It is this, per it is this perfect unison with zero tones. Because we are not moving, we are singing, everybody is singing in unison. We don't have, we, we are not moving anywhere. So, it is that simple. It is all about calculation and mathematics. If you do your mathematics properly and you calculate properly, there is nothing so difficult here. Just sit down and start doing your calculations and you are going to get all these concepts. Thank you very much for attending this class. See you in the next class.